Welcome back to Flo and Slow Barbecue. Today we're doing something nobody likes to do, but we're cleaning the grill. Okay, in order to uh, remove the ash sweep mechanism, you have to turn this handle uh, clockwise. It will sit very, very tightly, so you might need to use something as a lever. It will feel like you're breaking it off, but you're not. I did this before, so it's rather easy now. And then you can take the whole thing out. Okay, with the sweeping lever removed, you can now remove the whole mechanism. And if it's anything like mine, it'll be very dirty. If you don't want to have the extra fun of going through your ash bin with your kids' uh, sand toys to, you know, <laughs> find this little piece that dropped in there, make sure you catch it when you take off the mechanism. This one sits on the bottom of the kettle and yeah, you need it, <laughs> otherwise you can't reassemble it. So it's the three wings and this part. And now you can individually clean these. You can see there's a lot of buildup. And that's why they won't close properly after some time. I will also remove the adapter for uh, my fan. Um, yeah, just to get everything clean. Um, I don't need this grill to be spanking clean after I'm done. But I don't want any crust in here. I just want, yeah, all that stuff out. Okay, all these pieces, especially this one, um, I'm soaking them in hot water together with the mechanism because those things need, yeah, they need to be cleaned thoroughly. Have a look at your kettle if you're smoking at all. You will see that there's this, this stuff. It's just carbon buildup, but it could drop on your food, which is not nice. So I'm using a spatula, a wooden spatula, and uh, an old dish brush to get rid of that. And as you can see, my, my gasket I installed half a year ago is still holding strong. Okay, let's do this. I'm also using some steel wool. Look at how much stuff accumulates. Get rid of it. I will give it a rinse later, but for now, before I use any water at all, I want to get rid of all the dry matter. Now, same goes for the inside of the bowl. First of all, get rid of all the ash and the dry stuff in here. Once that's done, you will notice uh, some tough spots like this one. I like the way the um, wood spatula takes care of that. Um, yeah, I try to especially remove all the grease build up um, where the mechanism is. And again, before I use any water or soap, I will try to get rid of as much of this stuff as possible. Let's do this. I will now remove the ash catcher, um, empty it, 
and start working with a little soap and water just to get the rest of those things away. Really, don't take it too seriously. It does not have to be spanking clean. It just needs to work, and you want to avoid buildup of schmuck of whatever grease. I have placed a bucket be no, below the grill. It's easier to empty than the ash catcher. And now I'll just you know, give a little bit of soap in here. First of all, a little bit of water. I will now let this soak for a bit. Um, so all these uh, crusts can get soft. And then I'll give it a scrub down and a thorough rinse. And I'll do the same thing to the lid. Okay, after the first rinse, you see that there's still some parts here and here that are still not soft to the touch. This is smooth, this isn't. Um, I will try to get this away, do some more scraping and some more soaking. But down here, most of this, this has to go, is gone, so I can guarantee a smooth operation of the of the ash sweep mechanism. Yeah, I'll scrub and soak some more. I'm rather happy with the inside. Um, I did check this hole for corrosion and couldn't see any. It's been there for half a year, so I think I'm fine there. Because I thought of covering it with some um, heat resistant paint, which I hadn't gotten around to doing. You see, there's a few little spots left, but seriously, it doesn't need to be that clean. Okay, let's reassemble this. All of these wings are marked one, two, and three. There's two. And the last one is three. Okay, you start with piece one and take this little nook here and it faces away. So you get the nook here. And then you follow suit with two and three. You might want to get help for this next part. Okay, this is where this part sits. So the nook has to point into this direction and it's all closed. Now I'm pushing from the inside, attaching this part. And now I have to get this in with the, yeah, with this thing pointing down. So let's see if I can do it alone. Yay. It has to go in all the way. It did. And now you turn it 180 degrees and it will snap into place. Now we need to put this back over and these back in. Ash sweep is back in place. See? Nice and clean. No more crust. You can see here this. Yeah, I could scrape this off, but it's not really doing anything. And it'll get dirty, like, in a minute or so, because I'm cooking picanha tonight. Thanks for watching, take care, and bye-bye. Can you get your grill cleaner? Probably. Is it worth your while? Not really.